Uh, good morning, everyone. Right. Oh, there's loads of you on the screen today. This is the reason why I'm nervous. It's silly, isn't it? It's doing the same thing we do every week. Okay. Well, it is 7.30. There's nothing like a last minute, um, you know, rock in to wake yourself up and get yourself going. <clears throat> Welcome to the final live workout of 2023's Row 31. But that's not to say you can't continue doing this. And obviously for those of you who might be catching up or watching it later, then you've got plenty more to come. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. We will be doing the standard uh, workout as always. Uh, normal warm up as before, four minutes and then a couple of bursts. Then we'll have a little chat and then we'll get into it. So if we're all good to go, I will get on my machine. That would help. And we'll start with the traditional four minute warm up. Um, rate 20, nice and easy, getting everything moving, and we'll go from there. If we're good, let's pick up our handles. Get ourselves set, shake out any cracks, and off we go. Like I say, just finding the rhythm, easing into it this morning. I would almost say keeping a little bit of energy in reserve because we know what's to come. But no pressure, no nothing. It's just a nice fun workout this morning. And we've obviously worked over the last few weeks on a number of different technical points. But if you can remember any of them, obviously now is a good time to start thinking about them so that you're priming your movement pattern for the rest of the workout and don't have to lend too much brain power to it at the time. Just nice and smooth. Keeping the handle moving, squeezing off the foot plate. And now is also the time to start thinking about what you're going to do this session. We've approached it in a number of different ways, and I'm not being too prescriptive today because it is the final one. Just have a little think and we'll have a chat before we start. But what do you want to get out of today's session? Other than just getting a sweat on, getting your heart rate up a little bit. Okay, let's take it up two pits on the right, 22 or two from wherever you are. Squeeze on the legs. Slightly quicker on the recovery. Getting a little bit of heat in the legs. And we're going to take it up again to 24. Let's go. Make sure we're working a bit harder, not just sliding up to the start again quickly. Make sure we get a little bit of power in those legs. Excellent, take it back down to 20, or wherever you were at the start, with a little bit more power than before. So just changing that ratio of drive to recovery in the favor of the drive. Yeah. 
Yeah. About 15 more seconds. One more stroke. And just relax there for a second. Okay. Worst bit done. Second worst bit to come is the little burst. The workout's the fun bit. The cool down's ace. Um, as every week, we'll do one slightly underrate, one a bit overrate to get everything moving quickly. Settle somewhere in the middle. It might be where you want to settle for the workout if you've been thinking about the stroke rates. But if not, it doesn't matter, it's still strong and controlled. First rate, 26-ish. 10 seconds to get to that rate, 30 seconds at rate. Have a little pause, okay? I feel like I'm telling you everything you already know, but hey, that's what Waffle's all about, right? Okay, 10 seconds to get to rate 26. Let's go. Just try and find it with a bit of power. Once you've got it, 30 seconds. Try and stay as consistent as you can on rate and split or power or whatever numbers you see, or effort if that's what you're going on. Ten seconds. And wind it down. Whew, okay. Uh, I just need to move something off my screen as I think you will do, sorry. <laughs> so I can see you all again. Okay, back on it. We are now going into burst number two, which is the overrate burst. Trying to keep control of the technique, but obviously let's just move quickly as we can. Get a little bit of fire in muscles. 10 seconds to find rate over 30 if we can. Hold it for 30 seconds. Let's go. So building up, finding the rate. Once you're there, hold it. 30 seconds. Good stuff. Ten seconds left. And wind it down. That was definitely a bit harder to keep consistent from stroke to stroke. Final one is going to be our Sweet spot mix of the two, somewhere in the 28 to 30 region, stroke rate. We want long and controlled, but remembering handles coming in and away to lead you back up for the next stroke. So you can find that rate that way, rather than feeling like you can slow down here and then speed up to the catch. So final one, 10 seconds to get into rate. Let's go. 28 to 30 something comfortable and strong. Then we hold. 30 seconds here, working hard. Good stuff, squeeze that foot plate, 10 seconds. And wind it down. Okay. Short pause for a tiny bit of waffle. Grab yourselves a quick drink if you want. Just mentally prepare. We have 
We've done four of these already in theory. This is our fifth. We've played around with stroke rate. I don't want to do that today because I want you to achieve a goal that you've set yourself. Now, in the first week, I wasn't prescriptive. You just went and you managed it. So the plan is to do the same again. However, think about one of the many goals that you want to set yourself. It could be that you set it at the start of the month. It could be that you're setting it now based on what we've done the last four weeks. It might not be that you go further today, but that doesn't matter because it could be that you do every single one at the same stroke rate. Consistency, favorite word. It could be that you do the same distance as the first week, but lower stroke rates to be more efficient with your strokes. It could be that you get to number 10 and think, go on, Claire, chuck in an 11th. I'm not going to. But that in itself, having worked hard, those are all legit goals. So think about something you want to get out of today that's going to keep you motivated through to that 10th rep. And then we can share the applause afterwards on just how amazing you all are and if you went further. But the reason I chose this as a step that we do every every week rather than just a 20 minutes for as far as you can go is it takes it away from distance and allows you to play with some other goals for those of you that maybe aren't bothered or maybe just are still learning how to use a machine. End of waffle. We all set. I feel like that's my kind of gentle motivation. Now we're going to set the workout. Now we're going to get it on. Now we're going to smash it. Whatever smashing it is. Intervals, time, one minute, one minute. Okay, it's just 10, it's all we need to do. I would say start out steady because I'm sure I said that in the first week. Start out with control. And if we've got a little push, we'll pit and bring it into the towards the end. But job number one is let's get 10 reps done. Handles up thinking about your sweet spot rate. If we're all ready, set, row. Yeah, get the machine moving and then settle on pace. Long strokes. Finding your rhythm. Good start. Working hard, but with control. And we're done. The first one's never so bad. <laughs> I did forget to say, obviously, because all of the goal stuff is going around my head and the motivation. We did practice our race starts a little bit last week. And I know some of you have been doing rolling starts. So it's on you if you want to do one or if you want to go back to doing a rolling or you want to just keep it as consistent as possible from week to week. Make sure that whatever you did in week one, you can utterly compare. It's entirely on you. I didn't do a rolling start any week, so I won't be doing them this week. I only remembered the race start thing when I said go, but by that point it was too late. So that's why I'm saying it now. 10 seconds till round two. Hopefully you got your breath back. Starting to find our sweet spot in two, one, go. Get the machine moving. Long, powerful strokes. And then settle into rhythm.
Get stuck. Twenty seconds. Hold it here. Five. And relax. I can't remember if I waffled this at all, but I'm sure I would have done. The other joys of this kind of session is the fitness thing. They always say that the part, well, I think half the battle of fitness is the recovery, your ability to recover and do the same again. And that's what one minute is for. This is about recovery. So nice deep breaths. Try and get your heart rate to drop a little bit, feeling control of everything. So that when you go back in again, you can just repeat exactly what you just did. And that's that consistency thing. 10 seconds, round three. I'd say same again. Feeling strong, starting to really get into the rhythm. Two, one, go. Yeah, feeling good, feeling strong, and feeling in control. Good, remembering that leg drive, driving off the foot plate, strong in the core. Five seconds. Relax. Deep breaths. For those of you that have done the sessions this week, this should be a piece of cake compared to your two minutes on one minute off intervals. That's like twice as long, with in theory what feels like half the rest. It should feel like a walk in the park. Some might say I did that on purpose, but you know, it's your call whether you believe that or not. 30 more seconds rest. Hopefully now we're feeling our sweet spot. Just remembering, nice quick off the start, big strong leg drive. And then we'll think in this one, you can think about hanging off the handle. So arms nice and long when you do that leg drive. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, let's go. Long strokes, find that length with the power. And then settle on for something. You can hold for the remainder. Good stuff. Keep squeezing with those legs. Five seconds. And relax. Okay, that was four down. I think in the first one, we might have done a three, a three, a three, and a one. So technically we're into the middle third. Um, for this one, like I said just then, when you're thinking about that drive, leave those arms out, keep strong in the body, 
So the handle and the seat move together. Big squeeze on the legs, big squeeze of your bum. Try and sit yourself up. We'll get those big muscles firing. Let's focus on power for these next two, making sure you hit that split, hit that power, or replicate that effort level every stroke. Five seconds coming forward. Two, one, go. That's it, long stroke, find the power. Sit strong. And then we settle every stroke, just do the same thing. Squeezing long with those legs. Drawing the handle through. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, one more focusing on power. Just got to get those big muscles involved. One of them being the heart, mine's going. Remembering if you're doing that racing start, that it goes from short to long. So you do a few strokes at this end and then you slowly build each stroke, getting that length in and make sure you are finding that length. So you can work on the power as you get tired, that length will drop. So if we can get as many strokes, good ones at the start in, nice and long, we're on to a winner. Okay, five seconds, round six. Three, two, one, go. Either way, finding length at the start, length in those legs. Then comes the power. And then find the rhythm. Repetition every stroke. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Relax. Two thirds of the way there. That's a cheeky little one. Right. These next three are the ones where we start to feel it. And it's where we start to work. So for these, remember, you might not need it for this first one. Stroke rate is your friend. If at about 40 seconds, you're watching your power disappear, or it feels like there's nothing there, have a go and moving a bit quicker. See if you can take the rate up, because the power should come with it. If it doesn't, no matter, settle back. But if it does, it gives you the extra little push to the finish. 10 seconds, round number seven. If we're not feeling too tired, same again, work a bit harder. Three, two, one, go. Bursting out of the blocks. Finding the length and the power. And then the rhythm. Sitting up, drive the legs.
That's it. Are we maintaining power? If you don't need to, don't go anywhere. But if you want to, a little bit of rate. And relax. Well done. We're doing all right? She says to a screen of mutes. <laughs> There's lots of tiny little red. Ah, oh, thanks, Amy. I'm seeing the thumbs up. That's reassuring. To be honest, the fact that a few of you got your camera on and you're moving means you must be breathing, which means you must be there. And I'm just superimposing a smile on your face on the assumption that you're loving it. <laughs> Whew, okay. Two more remembering that little bit of stroke rate. If we need it, we want to start thinking about our little sprint finish. 10 seconds, do the same as you're doing at the start. Last 20 seconds is on you. Five, three, two, one, go. We always start strong. Everyone feels amazing. But it's how long you can maintain that amazing for. Long strokes on those legs, sitting tall. Twenty seconds. Keep that power on. Keep that focus in. 10 seconds on the legs. And relax. I definitely find it easier talking to you when I'm moving. Okay, two left. Well, one and a one. I just want you to do the same thing again. We can have a little pick up at the finish, if you want, depending on how you're feeling. Because remember, it would be great to get to the end of 10 and think I could do 11, but we're not doing 11. So that might mean you can push a little bit harder in these last two. Just saying, I want rhythm, I want length, I want power. I don't want a lot in life. Just that from you guys. 10 seconds, sitting strong, three, two, one, go. Working hard, come go. Sitting strong. Finding that rhythm. And holding it. Twenty seconds. If you want, take it up a little. Push a bit harder. Watch that power go. Control. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay. Two things. One, row through the line. Because if you're on about two seconds to go, kick it across the line. Don't just think I'm done, I'll sit here and watch it tick. That's thing number one. Thing number two, the last one's a fast one, always. 
no matter how controlled you've been, once we get that 20 seconds to go, we are sprinting for the line, whatever that means to you. Let's feel like we've worked hard, we've worked well, we've kept the control and consistency. That 20 seconds, you can go crazy. You've got eight seconds left, focusing in. Three, two, one, go. Find the power, find the rate. Work hard from the start. That's it, keeping it strong and long. Working those legs. When we find rhythm, we find it with a bit of spice, a bit of punch, so don't drop off. That's it, keeping it hard, driving away. Okay, 20 seconds, it's on you. What have you got in those legs? Keep it strong. Push away. Finishing in 10. All the way through to the line. And relax. Whew. Every now and then, I think of that post you see in the gym next to the row machines that says if I pass out please record my time I'm hoping none of us have done that but that last one was fun okay reset your screens oh I can't speak <laughs> we're gonna go through a nice gentle cool down because that's definitely what we need now and then we'll have a little look back so just moving through the motions no power whatsoever if you don't want to, but just maintaining that form you've got so that we're loosening up everything that's worked today, which is everything basically. The joys of rowing. Well done. I would say for those of you who have liked this program and have seen the difference. An interval hike session once a week can have a massive difference on a regular basis. Because if we remember back to the start, I'm sure I waffled to you about my cars. If you've only got a two liter, in, no, that's a big engine, isn't it? If you've only got a VW Polo 1.4, no matter how hard you put the accelerator down, it can only go at that sort of power. It can only drive power out of a 1.4 engine. If you do these and some steady state, we build the engine. And then suddenly your 1.4 Polo goes to a snazzy, and this is the point where Claire admits she doesn't know much about cars, Two litre BMW, there we go. That's not a bad shout, is it? So every training session has its place, but if all you do is one of them, you'll never know the beauties of the other. 10 more seconds. One more stroke and handles can go down permanently. Well done. We have finished. We just need to stretch it out. Obviously, if you want to do any more of a cool down, by all means, do so. We'll just run through the same stretches as normal. Legs first, then a bit of the upper body. So starting one ankle on the knee. We'll go into the glute stretch. If you want to stand up or lie down, then by all means, do so. I want you to feel it in your hip. If you can't do this one, but you want to stay seated, pull the knee right the way in and then try and pull it towards your opposite shoulder. Get a little bit of rotation and you should feel somehow if you wiggle it around a stretch in the outside of the glute there.
Excellent. And we'll swap that over to your other side. I, uh, I have, I didn't really set myself any goals other than try and feel a bit fitter, but certainly over the last five weeks, I've definitely done that. Uh, those of you that are on the Facebook group, obviously feel free to let us know how you got on. That doesn't mean you have to share your screens. It's an individual thing, but if you want to, that's cool too. But remember, the goals aren't necessarily just about the numbers. It could be about a feel. Hopefully, regardless of what goal you set, even if you wanted to go further and you didn't, whatever, you feel like that session wasn't nearly as tough as the one we did on the 3rd of January, I think it was. Something like that. That's a win in my book. Right, we'll stay seated and we'll go into hamstrings next. One foot out in front. Just hinge forward with a nice straight leg. You can do it standing if you prefer or seated on the floor. And probably the other note to you is, following on from the message I put on the Facebook group, there's been talk about what's next. The archive will stay live. So that program as it is, will stay there on the website so that you can access those at any point. Switch legs. For those of you that are keeping up or, uh, sorry, catching up or missed a few out or want to just have another go. We do also have some free training plans on the brochuring website, TK and 500, because it's focused on a water audience, but they are still good for anyone. They are beginner, intermediate and advanced based on your fitness level rather than your ability to use a machine. Because obviously now you guys are all pros at that. I would say to consider just pausing if you're thinking about the indoor subscription, because as I said in my message, we've got something a bit exciting coming, but um, we can't tell you about it right now, which is a bit of a shame, but it won't be long. For those of you who are already signed up, obviously you can still get access to all the training plans there. Um, and we will let you know as well what the new thing is so that everyone can get access to a whole host of stuff around indoor rowing. I'm going to stand up so my head's going to disappear. I'm going to go into the quad stretch. I feel a bit weird talking to you when you can't see my head. Sorry, that's why I'm not. And we'll swap legs there. Try not to fall over. Excellent. We'll come back to seated just so I can see you all. Take hands out behind, shoulders back, just open the chest up. And then hands out in front and just push away. And then a big stretch up to finish. You can go side to side if you want. Otherwise, a nice deep breath in. And relax out. You are done. We made it. 31st of January. Boom.